in this video we are going to create a glory effect in photoshop cs6 extended it will be super fun super easy before we start uh, let me just show you some examples uh before uh, when we are going to end it up this video so first of all uh, this is a simple image after running our actions the final results will be look after like this and on the next step the second example i have is this one this is a simple image and once we will done our work the final results looks like this and today we will use this image also and this is also a example so when you will finish these actions or in the end of this video you will get this output so let's start our work without wasting any kind of time First of all, I have a simple image. Uh, what we'll do is we'll simply just create a selection around this character. So we'll go to Quick Selection tool, size it up according to your choice. Create a selection around this character, and first we'll create a random selection. Okay, so I have done my selection work. Now we'll create a mask on this layer and invert this mask and you will see the background is removed right click on this and click on refine mask now we'll size it up and remove or brush out the areas which we don't wanna use in our final image so like there are some white areas which we don't want to use like this okay so that's cool very nice now uh, once you are done just uh, select your output layer to new layer with layer mask and select and click on ok now it will create another layer and now the only thing is left is now we will create a new layer new document sorry create a new layer document we we'll press ctrl n from your keyboard and the size of this document will be 2560 pixels by 1440 pixels we will name this effect as our effect which is glory effect so the size is uh, in front of you resolution is 300 pixels per inch and click on ok now we'll click our character and drag it in our new document once you imported this press ctrl T and size it a little bit down to fix or adjust the size according to our needs now click on this check mark press ctrl 0 and now uh, we need a background so we'll uh, change the foreground color to any color you would like and press alt plus backspace oops sorry uh, select your background layer and then press alt plus backspace now we have a background we have a character and we only need is our uh, we can say that a new brush layer so we'll create a new layer on top of all these name this layer as uh, brush name should be in small letters not in capital or it will create an error now uh, we'll press uh, this uh, mask button and delete this and click on apply now we'll press ctrl and take your cursor on this uh, layer mask layer thumbnail create selection around your character as we did select your brush tool and press alt uh, we will change the foreground color first uh, you can use any color i would like to use red color so press alt plus backspace press ctrl d and we have our field red color layer we have our background and we have our separate character so we'll select character layer and background layer press ctrl e to merge these both layers into a single layer then go to our layer new and click on background from selected layer very nice and now it's time to load our brushes and action file so how we can do that is simply just go to edit uh, preset preset manager from the preset manager uh, simply just click on load move your uh, folder where you downloaded our files once you downloaded our files open up the folder extract that and there is a glory brush select and click on load I have done this step already so I don't need to do that again click on done now it's time to load our actions so from your keyboard 
uh, you can see if you don't see this icon on the right hand side of your, uh, your Photoshop just go to windows and click on actions you will see there is a menu here uh, now we'll load our actions so we'll click on this uh, layer, top layer icon click on load actions from the load actions again move this to your folder open up the folder and load your action file click on load once you done that you will see there is a folder appears in this panel which is glory uh, actions so now there are several positions inside this you can uh, dra uh, drop out your uh, uh, we can say that flow of uh, particles from uh, top left to bottom right from top right to bottom left and see uh, this type of other direction so for this image I would like to use top left from this to top uh, bottom right so select this first one uh, extract that now we don't need to purge this out uh, just click on play button it will take a little time so we will just click on play button there will be some menus here some options sorry here there we have so click on continue now uh, don't touch the angle of the light we just need to adjust the scale so for this image I think the scale should be 75% that's nice now click on ok and it will take a little time to complete this process so we'll meet after finishing the actions work okay so the process is complete now and you can see the final results you can make a lots of changes inside that first of all let me just show you some color options there are lots of color options inside that so first of all uh, what we'll do is we'll close all of these groups at once so once we close these after opening them it will look like neat and clean so we'll press ctrl alt and click on this uh, dropping arrow everything will be closed at once now once you open that you will see everything is neat and clean now there are color options here uh, you can use any color options you can use combination of colors it totally depend on your choice so there are about uh, 25 color options here so uh, in the under this is this is the sharpen so you can copy this sharpen and it will increase the sharpness of your image which will, which will give a nice look to your image and uh, there are some soft corners some dust you can use so you will copy this dust to make it look way better and now uh, we have some clouds inside that you will see looks great and uh, there are some sparkles which are used here and uh, you can use some noise here and there is a light once uh, one more thing is these uh, uh, you can increase this by pressing ctrl j and looks great now this is the main subject of our image this is the bouquet you can copy this bouquet and it will increase the opacity and we will increase the light rays which looks great so we copy this and now uh, we will check out more things like these are the light rays these are some kind of other lights so we'll open this group and you will see there is a light uh, this one so we'll copy this light or we can undo that we don't need to do that again so uh, there is a gradient which is applied on the background for darkness of the downside and this is the background so this is the basic effect I hope you like this effect if you like this video or found this video helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up all the files links given in the description bar even the images which I have used in this video or for examples uh, all the images all the uh, brushes and actions link is given in the description bar you can free download all of these files use them if you feel any problem or if you see any problem just comment under this video I will uh, surely try to solve your problem we will meet in our next video and one more thing do not forget to subscribe and uh, we will meet in our next video never stop never depend and keep learning